Not the first place you'd expect to find a conservation scientist looking for eels. But just next to this dual carriageway is the River Roding, and it seems to catch an eel, you need to be willing to go to some rather unusual places. ZSL conservation scientist Matt Gollock and his team gear up and get ready for a wet encounter under a road bridge, all in a bid to monitor juvenile eels, or elvers as they are known. We have traps like this at each site that we monitor at. They're very simple, but they're from a design that was used in the past and has been shown to be really effective. Um, it's just sort of a simple cistern with uh, a siphon of water coming down, feeding the cistern here and then also running down um, guttering, which the eels will move up and then drop into. The Zoological Society of London runs a number of projects in the Thames estuary. And one of the longest running studies is the Upstream Elver Migration Monitoring Programme. This is our six year of monitoring. And it was started basically because over the past 20, 30 years, right across Europe, there's been um, a noticeable decline in the number of eels that are returning to fresh water. Now obviously this is going to have a knock-on effect for the number of eels that are leaving um, to go and breed again in the Sargasso. In natural population there's always fluctuations in numbers, but it seems there's been this sort of steady decline in eel numbers and it's basically had a lot of people concerned and over the past sort of 10 years there's really been a drive to, to understand what the reasons behind this decline is. And there's a lot of things that we're doing that are potentially going to be affecting eel numbers. Now obviously, in different places around Europe, those pressures are going to be different for different populations of eels. But the, 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 sort of, the things that we're talking about are things like pollution. Building barriers across freshwater um, waterways is a big problem. The effect of climate change is basically affecting everything in the aquatic environment. And <clears throat> we think that eels are no different. Um, the effect of climate change on ocean um, currents could mean that the number of eels that are getting back to fresh water is reduced massively. Um, eel larvae are basically passive migrators. By this I mean that um, currents bring them back to Europe from the Sargasso Sea, which is out in the, the sort of the west of the Atlantic Ocean. Um, now, if these currents are changing and the eels aren't getting back to fresh water, that obviously means there's going to be less of these elvers entering into the freshwater habitat, growing and then returning to breed again. So this is what we think is a huge problem. By setting and regularly monitoring traps in the rivers along the Thames, Matt and his team are able to build up data on how and where the species migrate and what problem they face en route. This data is fed into national and European strategies to conserve and manage the European eel population. Once we've weighed and measured them, um, we take them above this, this weir here and uh, send them on their merry way.